put together this video on how to change a uh, molar pop lock uh, pickup tube. So the pop lock is uh, noted by its ability to uh, turn basically 360 degrees. There's uh, It's sealed off by three O-rings, two on the pop lock and one on the uh, gas tank fixture. And it's held together by a snap ring, basically that compresses and expands into the groove. Um, so show you the show you the complications I had taking it out and putting it together. Here's the information on the molar gas tank itself. It's in a 2008-195 Stingray. So molar's online instruction manual states uh, in order to remove the pop lock all you do is grab it with a pair of vice grips and pull up on it uh, i was unsuccessful at doing that i had pry bars and blocks of wood and all kinds of things um, one thing that might work would be a um, slide hammer i got a little bit of an issue with the seat backing being right over, right over top of the pop lock itself um, the way I eventually got it was is I used a, a pickle fork for like a ball joint and put it between the two and uh, a few taps and it popped out pretty fast. So one thing to note is that molars New pop lock system uses a quarter inch NPT thread, uh, female, and my original Stingray came with a three eighths, so the two wouldn't go in together. Um, so that's something you need to take account for is that your old hardware won't work. So this is the geometry of the tank receiver um, and the pop lock system. So on the tank, there is a receiver area for the snap ring or snap lock. And also lower down, there's an O-ring, which I never got involved with. I just let it be. And then on the pop lock side, there is uh, two O-rings and they seal radially. So it's very important to have the right um, diameter O-ring in here to make sure that there's pressure squeeze on the uh, between the two components so it seals properly. So the initial issue I had when removing the pop lock system was is that the O-ring got damaged. Uh, so I ordered a new system and uh, was gonna reuse those O-rings. So I, I used the new system and likewise damaged those O-rings while trying to get the pop lock to seat properly. So I uh, ordered a bunch of O-rings, tried a whole bunch of different sizes until I found the right one that matched the original one exactly. Just be careful on what you order. This one I, has been sitting on my desk for a few months and realized it was hard and brittle and it cracked on me. So what you wanna order is the uh, Viton uh, material, which is designed for uh, fuel. Uh, it's the size is uh, 7 16 ID and 9 16 OD and a durometer of 75. They're on Amazon for about a hundred pack for about $10 shipped from, I think, Mr. O-Ring. So looking closer at it, you can see the, the snap ring there, uh, the pop ring. Uh, so it has to get compressed in order to reduce the diameter and uh, so those two ends have to come around similar to like a, a ring on a uh, piston. So I tried using uh, pliers to, uh, to compress it. The issue was is trying to reach all the way down to the hole and keep the pliers right where they need to be and then push down on it at the right time and have everything lock in it wasn't going to work out for me. I tried it multiple times and every time I did, I was damaging the O-rings. So I had to put new O-rings on. So it got kind of frustrating going back and forth on that. So 
So the solution I came up with was as I 3D printed a two-part tool system. One was a spacer that you can see up on top for the pole tab. And the other is a ring compressor. You can see now that the uh, ring is squeezed together and pretty much meets the diameter as you do all this above deck. And you put it, you put it down in place, you pull out the tab, and that tab will then give you enough room to push the valve down while compressing the snap ring so it falls into the hole and you'll hear a small click. And then you remove the bottom part or the compression tool and everything should be installed. So that took several weeks of fiddling around with the O-ring size and the compression system and get it to all go right. Um, a lot of effort, so hopefully this video is going to help you guys. So one issue I did notice was is that there's very minimal thread uh, insertion onto the new pickup tube housing. So it literally turns about three turns before it pops out. I uh, gave up on the newer one and uh, went back to the old one and just fitted the old one with the newer O-rings. Um, so unfortunately these are items I'm not gonna use. Uh, I did measure the ID of, of the uh, hole and based on all the thread drawings I could find, it does not look like it's large enough. Uh, the hole opening is not large enough. So that's why it bottoms out so early on the thread connection. So Moeller, if you're watching, please check out the threads on your system. Likewise, it'd be nice if you guys had a tool that you could offer, uh, not too expensive. And also, if you could tell your customers what size O-rings they need in order to do this job. Call customer service, they were helpful, but didn't really uh, provide information on what O-ring size I needed. So. That was the big project for the summer on the boat. So if you guys have any questions, drop me a message in the link and I'll get back to you.